Hi there folks, let me tell you the amazing story of Hampton Gay. Hampton Gay is a village in the Cherwell Valley about 3.5 miles or 2.4 kilometres north of Kidlington, Oxfordshire. Well folks, Hampton Gay has it all. It has history with the Knights Templar, the Peasants Revolt, a massive train crash that happened on a Christmas Eve, one of the Britain's biggest ever train crashes. It's even been cursed, and the um, the old manor burnt down uh, due to a curse, some say. And it is an abandoned medieval village. Some stories say the manor was set on fire deliberately to claim insurance but others believe it was a result of a curse. On Christmas Eve, 1874, Great Western's train from Paddington derailed just a few hundred yards away. Uh, despite calls for assistance, the residents of the manor house refused to help and shelter the victims. 34 people died that day and 69 were injured, according to the legend. A curse was placed on the house there is no evidence that any of this is true, of course, but it's typical of how myths like this attach themselves to ruins and derelict places. The de Gay family were tenants of both estates by about 1137 and remained so until 1222. Hampton's Gay is a type of inn which combines their surnames with the Old English for village or farm. In 1972, a cast bronze clasp was found at Hampton Gay in St Giles Parish Church. It was decorated with leaves and may have been late Saxon from the 10th or 11th century. In about 1170, Reginald de Gay gave land to the House of the Knights Templar from Cowley, Oxfordshire. Three religious orders retained their estates at Hampton Gay until 1539, when they were suppressed during the dissolution of the monasteries and forfeited their lands to the Crown. The Barry family built the manor house in the 16th century. In 1887 it was gutted by fire. It has never been restored and remains an ivy clad ruin. It is a grade 2 listing building and is a scheduled monument. Early in the 21st century English heritage placed the manor house ruins on its register of historic buildings at risk, listing it as a property priority as A and its condition as very bad. Records show that Hampton Gay had a parish church by 1074. Hampton Gay had a water mill on the River Cherwell by 1219. In 1684, converted to a paper mill, the mills produced pulp, but the paper was made in batches by hand until 1812, when Hampton Gate was re-equipped with a modern machine that made paper mechanically and continuously. In 1863-73, to 73, the paper mill was rebuilt with a gas work system engine and other machinery in 1875 it was destroyed by fire but from 1876 it was restored to production in 1880 not 1880 sorry it had both a water wheel powered by the river and a steam and a steam engine fed by a cornice boiler and could produce about a ton of paper per day wow However, by 1887 it had gone bankrupt and their stock in trade was sold to settle unpaid rent.
1596, Hampton Gay villagers joined those from Hampton Pole who were plotting and revolt against the enclosures. The rebels planned to murder landowners, including Vincent Barry and his daughter, and then marched to London. A carpenter at Hampton Gay warned Barry, five ringleaders were arrested and taken to London for trial, and one was sentenced to be hanged and quartered. However, the government also recognised the cause of the rebels' grievances and determined that order should be taken about the enclosures, that the poor may be able to live. Parliament duly passed an act. The Shipton on Cherwell train crash was a major disaster that occurred on the Great Western Railway. It involved a derailment of a long passenger train at Shipton on Cherwell near Hampton Gay. The accident happened a few hundred yards from the village of Hampton Gay and close to the Shipton on Cherwell. The train with 13 carriages and two engines, the train was about half an hour late and was going 40 miles per hour after six miles the tyre of the wheel on the first class carriage broke. The carriage left the track for about 300 yards including the bridge of the River Cherwell. After the bridge and before the similar bridge across the Oxford Canal, the carriage went down the embankment taking other carriages with it, breaking up as they crossed the field. The three carriages and a goods carried on over the canal bridge and another fell into the water. The front section of the train carried on for some distance. The owner and the men from the Hampton Gay paper mill tried to assist the injured in the snow and sent a telegram for help um, the local, to the local stations to summon for medical help, but it took an hour and a half before a doctor appeared. A special train was used to move the injured back to the hospitals in Oxford at least 26 died at the scene, while four others were dead by the time the special train had arrived at Oxford Station. At least one other died in the hospital. 34 people died in the train crash and 69 people were seriously injured. And it was one of uh, Britain's worst ever train crashes. <laughs> 